guys. You're watching the Two Guys Talking Podcast Network. And at this point, so going through Arca a couple months and you're on the road to recovery, but the post-traumatic stress at that point, is that still bothering you then? Or does it still bother you now? I, I still participate sometimes at the VA. Um, they have an opiate center um, down on Bell Street. And unfortunately, I, I don't enjoy going there as much as I used to. They, they use a lot of Suboxone and methadone maintenance programs to keep people off of you know opiates. Um, but like I was saying earlier, it just fills the receptors and then they have to show up there to get their prescriptions. And if sure. they run out or someone steals them or they lose, something happens, they will get sick and, and most likely go back to their drug of choice because they want to function or feel like they're at a normal level. So I, I was really hoping, and, and I do hope in the future, that the, the VA and, and TRICARE um, are able to support Vivitrol. You know, it's, it still is going through its patent and everything, so once it, it reaches the, the end of its pharmaceutical patent, we'll see, you know, if other companies will make it. Sure, absolutely. Um, it really is a life-changing drug. Well, because if you do a six-month program, it's almost like, okay, well, let's say you, you go to jail for five years. You, you might have stayed jail or sober in jail, but that would be forced sobriety. You're right. not living your everyday life and having the choice of yes or no. You don't have a choice, so it's very easy to say, you know, I'm, I don't have to do it. Um, and then you start having the stress of life, and, and if you haven't learned how to cope with those or have coping skills... A lot of times, the first thing that will pop back in your head is is to use. Right. Um, so, and, and that's what Vivitrol does is, is it allows people to deal with those stressors and change the things in their life that are problematic, and and realize that the solution doesn't have to be used; that they can change it, you know, themselves. Yeah. And so, at that point, with with the Vivitrol, right, and hopefully it's blocking that urge to go back to the path of least resistance, right? Go mm -hmm. back to the old drugs and. So now you're getting counseling along with the Vivitrol. I, I, with that counseling, how often is that? What What's the pattern? Um, I mean, I, I go to the, I was going to the VA every week. Um, at working at ARCA, I'm, I'm working with addicts and alcoholics every day. Um, and going to the intensive outpatient with them and, and seeing how they're doing. Um, so basically, seven days a week, I, I work up program with other people, um, seeing them go through their program and... and talking to him about my struggles and, and, and just general communication. Um, right. And really, you know, people's drug use can be related to grief or, you know, problems getting through loss, uh, PTSD, uh, you know, emotional pain, stress, you know, all these things are right. become their solution is, is use. Yeah, so you're a peer counselor, really, yes. over there. So for you, counseling is really going on seven days a week because... You may not be sitting down with a therapist, but you're talking with people and you can relate to people who are going through what you went through six months ago. Oh, yeah. And, right? and seeing them when they first come in and they get sick and, and they're not feeling well is, is a strong reminder of that. I don't yeah. want to be in that position. I'm not. Right. <laughs> I'm past that. <laughs> I feel good just from waking up. 